Hi, everybody. Welcome. I'm glad you're with me today. I have a very special guest, Chef Jay Jackson, Mr. Foodtastic. I'm here. Visiting from D.C. and I'm DC. glad you're here. There you go. We have a wonderful soup we're going to put together yeah. right now. So this tell soup, me about it. This soup, so in the fall and the winter, everybody makes squash soup, right? Mm -hmm. So how do I put a twist on squash soup? I happen to love peanut butter. And so I think that peanut butter and squash go so well together. Okay. So this is a squash and peanut butter soup. Sounds good to me. It's so simple. It's so easy, like most soups are, um, but yet it's so good. What can I do? The foundation. We got to do the foundation work. Every good soup has a base and foundation to it. So I will believe you're in charge of that beautiful thing. Right okay. So I'm going to kind of even pieces because I want it all to cook really well. We're going to put okay. it in a pot. So um, you're going to put an onion while you do that. We can kind of kind of uh, cut and sink here. Okay. I think we can do that. So that one. So is this some? Um, is this going to work? It's excellent, sir. Looks like you've done that before. So I'm going to put the onions in first. Let that sweat for a few minutes. And okay. then we'll add in the, the squash. And we've also got some carrots. All good kind of things. Kind of like a, uh -huh. almost like a mirepoix. What's your favorite squash? You know, I really do love butternut squash. I think most people do that like squash. Uh -huh. um, and I like just kind of the, the more popular ones, the traditional ones. I do like Hubbard squash a lot. Uh -huh. Just for some odd reason. I don't even know what it's about. I tend to kind of lean toward the sweeter side of things. Uh -huh. Even though I kind of do love the, the sweet and savory combination of things. But right. um, giving that a stir, letting that sweat down. Continuing to cut the carrots. Okay, just you about, hammer out that squash. Just about got your squash. Give you the hard work, even though I'm the guest. I should be doing that's all that. Okay. That's okay. It's, it's okay. I'm used to it. Squash. Is that good to go? Yeah. Awesome. And it goes right in the pot. How easy is that? I will add, this is two carrots. Add two carrots, just gives it a. Uh, a little, little more sweetness. Yeah. And we're going to let this color. kind of roast and brown. Give it about uh -huh. maybe five minutes. We'll roast that down. And yeah, then we've got some stock back there. We're going to add about a cup of stock or so. Uh -huh. And just let it cook for like about 20 minutes. Just let all those flavors come together. Okay. And then we're going to add the finishing touches, the seasonings, the peanut butter. And then, right. and then it's good to go. Um, I don't think it gets any, any easier than that. Okay. Yeah, there's a considerable about amount of uh, natural sugars in there, so oh, that's absolutely caramelized nicely. Absolutely. Uh, Hi, okay. I'm Rick. Well, welcome back, all. Our soup is just about ready to puree now. All so the patience has paid off. This is uh, about 30 minutes. This is like 25 mm -hmm. minutes or so. Got them on medium heat. I mean, we're using an induction oven, which is a little different. Um, but about medium heat, um, you just want to make sure that the squash is nice and tender. Everything else is definitely already cooked, um, and you want to make sure that the squash is nice and tender. So we have that on there. As you can see, that's nice and soft. I could even crush this with okay. uh, a spoon and just, if just I a little to. bit of water if it threatens to stick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or you can even like or stop. Sometimes I'm a fatty, and you add a little heavy cream. Um, at the end. I mean, heavy cream is nice. Hey, I mean, it's you know, it's. It, you want something warm and comforting, uh, so in the in the in the fall, in the winter, you kind of want those things. So, that's right. So, me. but stock or, or or water, either one could work. We're going to season it. Also, um, I use a little. This is a little cumin, a little coriander, and then of course I use my spice. My of course, my tem. <laughs> <laughs> my test is like, and that's about a teaspoon of each. Um, uh -huh. I don't really measure when it comes to that. I kind of okay. just kind of taste and go as I, as I choose. And I've found that about a teaspoon works. Maybe about a teaspoon and a half of uh, the tastic spice. Okay. Um, and then I will also add the peanut butter. Great. Which makes it the, of course, squash and peanut butter soup. And that's about, you know, roughly three tablespoons or so. Peanut butter is one of the higher food groups. Oh, I, I essentially yep. live on it. That's mostly Growing up, I'm like PB&J. I mean, PB&J every day. I could I could live off of it for a good, good, good while. Um, so that's good to incorporate it. And then I'm, now we're going to just hit it with the, uh, the immersion blender. Okay. So 
Okay, while you're doing that, I, uh, while you're doing that, you're going to work on our sauce here. Okay. Which is going to be that's. Uh, I like to add a little sweetness to it, and so that's a little uh, yogurt, Greek yogurt in particular. Uh, uh, you're going to add a little bit of honey to that, and just kind of stir it, and that'll be a dollop that we'll add at the very end. Okay. Sounds good. I tend to like thick soups, but you know that's me. People like some okay. people like it as thin as a, like a broth sometimes, but I like the heartier the better. This the sauce. I'm gonna also get you to chop up some of those peanuts for me. Sure. It's a nice crunch, a nice way to add to the soup also. Uh, immersion blenders, yeah. you know, they just seem to be, uh, I don't know, lower tech or something. It, it's, and uh, they're cleaned up so fast and easy, too. Oh, yeah. You can have a taste yeah. that's going to be great. This is kind of the way you taste to make sure that you've seasoned it as well as you can, or to your preference, because, you know, cooking is all about your preference and how you like things. Mm -hmm. You can add spices to it if you like spicy food. You can add some red pepper flakes. And you can add any number of things. Okay. You like it? I got the dashes. You can add fresh herbs to this if you do. I love soups because you really can build upon whatever the base is and just kind of make it your own thing. That's good to go. I'll, that. I'll be generous. I'll give you a couple. <laughs> and then you're gonna dollop it. Okay. And then the crust. I like to give it a little contrast, so it's not uh -huh. just all one texture. I think you know something crunchy on top is always a good thing with soups. Sure. Thank you, Carolyn. Crunchy and creamy. You could ask for more. A DIY soup. And there you have it. Okay, excellent. Easy, okay. easy simple. Cool. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Mmm. Butternut squash and peanut butter. Do the thunk it. You got the honey with the place well together with it. Almost like a few people like peanut butter and honey sandwiches. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the same concept. And that little bit of spice is yeah. coming through nicely. Yeah. Delicious. Okay. Delicious. Uh, I like a cold weather high five myself. Soup. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chef Jay. Thanks for having me. I truly appreciate oh, it. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks it's been for fun. thanks for being here, everybody. See you again soon. Thank you. I'm gonna finish this off. Mmm. Delicious. Thank you.